Wanted to drop y'all a quick video and let you know that Bryce and I actually got to go to Pickwick the other day, put in at State Line Boat Ramp. Uh, by the way, if you ever go there, there's a little bait shop and convenience store right there at the uh, State Line Boat Ramp. They have a huge selection of uh, baits and lures and tackle, and you should really stop in and uh, visit with them and uh, check out all the bait and everything that they have. Not sponsored by them or anything. Don't even remember the name of the store. Uh, but I do remember that they have a little bit of everything. They have bandit uh, crankbaits, and uh, they have a large, large selection. So be sure and check them out. Uh, other than that, uh, we're, you'll see in the video that we uh, got to hit Pickwick for a few hours. Uh, thunderstorm moved in and ran us off. Uh, but we did have a little bit of luck before. You know, kind of when things were starting to get good is when uh, the th thunderstorm moved in. I don't worry about rain too much, but I, I do have a thing about I don't really want to get struck by lightning. So we had to pack up and leave earlier than we had hoped to, uh, but had a little bit of success. A little bit of success. Uh, Bryce actually hung a really nice smallmouth and uh, got it right up to the side of the boat and it got off. It probably would have been at least four pounds. It was a big smallmouth. Uh, but we had a good time. Uh, like I said, just a short trip. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us uh, get more uh, views out there and uh, get your friends and everybody to subscribe to our channel. Again, uh, North MS Outdoors with the Joiners. Uh, also check us out on Facebook. Thanks. Rig though, that gravel is perfect for it. If you have a drop off on it. Oh, hell yeah, you need a net? No. It's a smallmouth. No. Yeah, it's a smallmouth. It's not. It ain't? I don't think. Well, I guess it is. Okay. Hey, we're already doing better than any of the target. Oh, and he hooked it good, didn't he? He squallered it. Yeah, let's swap places. Thank you. Bleeding all yeah, over. over the boat. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm hanging over the boat. I think I need to raise my. You're gonna be hoping it rains now. At least on the way home. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Up. Yep, here you go. That's what they look like. I might live. You might. I tried to surgically remove it as gently as I could. But he lost a little bit of blood. Caught one. down there and piece them up you can there you go just clean them up the boat well, you hit me with them before yeah that's a large mouth it is that's a good one it is crankbait a bomber i took one of those off earlier i'd say he's 15 inches long wouldn't you i don't know how much he weighs it's like you probably go to scale. two and a half pounds, two, three. Oh, I watch them see. Flicked it on that gill. He was on the gill. We hooked fast before. I don't remember how you hook them. 
There you go. You can do it that way for sure. Three pounds. Yep. And it looks keeping him. Oh, you want to keep him, you can. I'm going to clean off fish, but uh, pickwick bass right there on crankbait. The large one. I'll clean that brush. Watch you. Did you catch one? Ah. Uh, I hope, my, I hope it, it has caught one of uh, Matt Johnson's put my bait back up. It's untied. That was a rattle for two of them. Oh, good job. And Matt, you got two brown ones. Good smallmouth. That's that a is good small mouth. Oh, that's a striper. Huh? God! That's that's a small mouth. Was it? That was a that small was a mouth. huge small mouth. That was a small mouth. That was a small mouth. I caught my drag off. He's still pulling drag off. That was probably a four or five pound, pounder then. I think that's a sign. And that's not the sign we want. Seems like you. That'll get you moving on it. 